And today, we're going to learn how to simplify fractions. When you have a clunky number on the top and clunky numbers on the bottom, you want to be able to simplify them. Erase that. Wait, what? Where's my pen? Oh my god, Einstein! You should put it! Einstein! Sorry, sorry. Okay, so how can we simplify fractions? Well, let's say we have an orange. I know that's not exactly orange, but oh yeah, let's change the thickness here. Okay. So this is our orange. God. This is our orange, alright? I know he's yellow, but just pretend he's orange. So here's our orange, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna chop it up. I'm so sorry, innocent orange. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice it into eight pieces. Now you can do this with an orange, an apple, a pomegranate, whatever spherical fruit you find. Now I can't do this on live camera because even though I have a few oranges, I'm not allowed to use the tools that I need to cut it. But if you're up for the challenge, ask an adult to help you cut this orange into eight slices. Now, you have eight orange slices. One, two, and I'm lazy, so I'm going to copy the rest. Okay, and there we go. That's eight orange slices. So, now, I know you're getting hungry already at the sight of these, so I have some good news for you. You can eat up two of those orange slices, but only two. So after you eat up those two orange slices, keep those six, uh, uh, those six others in your mind. I'm gonna outline the two that used to be there, mourning their death. So, these are our orange slices. Now we have only six out of in total, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight six out of eight oranges. Now, can, uh, now ask your parents to do a similar thing with a similar sized orange. Make sure it's similar sized. So here is our orange. Yes, this one has a black, weird looking leaf, but uh, don't worry, that doesn't mean it's rotting yet. So, now what we're gonna do is, instead of eight slices, we're gonna cut this one into one, uh, no, four slices. Uh, one, two, three, four slices. So now, you get these. Oh yeah, I, I know, this definitely could have been drawn better. I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, let me draw this so that you can visualize it much better. So here's one, and let's just replicate that. Kind of looks like a pizza. And you might be wondering, Saborno, why are you putting so much detail into your orange slices? Well, it's because of a realization that you're going to come across later in this lesson. Or, and, there and now you ate up two of those and that leaves you with six slices okay that's enough messing around now we have four slices that are gonna look like this one two three four and now what you're gonna do is I'm gonna make you eat not two but just one of these slices munch 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 and now that orange slice is gone here you have three out of four oranges so now what we're going to do is take two of those orange slices 
Now let me just put them over here. It would be great if I could mirror this thing, but uh, I sadly can't. Uh, okay. No something that's basically equivalent. So now what we can do is we can take this slice and essentially horizontally flip it. Okay, so here we have two slices. Now let's take one of these guys. Don't you think those two slices look oddly similar to this one slice? They do, don't they? So now, what we're gonna do is we can take these other two slices and make them into this. And then we can do the same thing again with those last two slices. And now, would you look at that? We have three slices of the exact same shape and size over here, and three slices of the exact same shape and size over here. So that means that when we ate two slices over here and one slice over here, we had the same amount of oranges left. That means three over four, must be equal to six over eight. So, why is this? Well, think about it. We can basically do something really cool. So, you know how six is equal to three times two? And then, eight is equal to four times two. And now, we can basically reverse multiply splitting these two fractions away from each other. And then we know two plus two is gonna be equal to one. So it's just three over four. That's how the process works. You're gonna have to try and find common factors between six and eight and cancel those factors out to get the most simplified form of the fraction. That's how simplifying fractions work. Thank you everybody for watching.